All right, uh, Lucas back here with some more um, PGA 2K21 course playthroughs. Uh, this time we have uh, Scarsdale Golf Club. Uh, it's a LiDAR version, so it's done uh, all on PC with LiDAR data and stuff like that. Uh, it's by S Irish 19 over at TGC Tours. Uh, I played a few of his courses, a few of his Japanese courses. Uh, they were like really good. So I'm looking forward to this one. I, did, I didn't read the entire thread to see where this is located. Let me check real quick. Um, it's uh, been a qualifying site for the U.S. Open and Senior U.S. Open. Um, I don't see a location, though. And I'm sure. You can look it up on Google, I'm sure. But, uh, yeah. It's ported over from 2019. So we'll see what this is all about. Short par four to open. It's a pretty short course, so don't expect it to be overly difficult, but we'll see. Probably shouldn't hit the driver there to start with, but. All right. Uh, heavy rough, so we'll take we'll club up at least. I don't even know if that'll be enough. That is plenty. Alright, looks like that. Heavy sloped on the greens, but I'm fine with that. I like challenging greens. Um, these are 187s too, so that's fine. As, as long as they're on like 165s or something as they are. So that you still give playability to 187s, I'm fine with it. Look at that green. It's almost like 80% red. Definitely have to find your spot there. Um, where are we going to land? Eh, I'll take that. That's fine. Can we keep it on the green though? Ooh, that's almost too close. Get in there. Ooh. Okay. Fence line, some buildings in the back. I'll have to take a look at that here in a second. Big uphill, shorter par four here. See what's over here. Got some I'm assuming that's just like a main road in real life, and then we got some buildings. Okay. slope. Alright. Um, boy. These greens are even more uh, challenging than Augusta. Or Big Golf Weekend or a course that should not be named. Whatever it's you want to call it. These things are brutal. Uh, is that going to be enough? I think it will be. No, it's not. That's going to be off the green. See ya. Oh, it stayed there. Wow, on the fringe. Get in there. Oof. Well, I could dunk it there, but... Can I have back-to-back -back pars? There, that's three straight pars, yeah. Hey, Mammoth, what's going on, man? Uh, playing through Scarsdale Country Club here. It's a LiDAR course that was just released. See how far we can put this off the slope. Oh, we're not even going to get there. Never mind. I thought for sure I took enough club. Mm. 
Sit right there. Okay. We're good. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. I don't I wonder if people that do LiDAR courses um, adjust the greens or they just leave them like they are because that's the way the land says that it is, so I know some people probably adjust them. But I mean this I mean this green here is by far the tamest I've seen on the of, of the five holes, but it's a nice view off the tee though, I like it. not much to really comment on since it is a real life course and you can't really say one thing or the other as, uh, as far as like how the holes are designed because it, I mean, it's not the, the designers say it's how it's built by the, by the course um, designer in real life so uh, just kind of play through it and enjoy. See if we can use that side slope on the green. Mm, oh man, we didn't get there again. Short again. Thought clubbing up would be enough, but apparently not. All right. That's a par five, I didn't even realize that. First birdie of the day. And that fence is really close to the tee box, I just noticed that. back off the slope. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's off the green. Okay. I didn't think it would... Okay. It rode the whole way. If I would have stayed in the middle of the green, I think it would have been fine, but rolled off the left. There's a shot. There we go. Down 25. That wind, though. Probably going to be short again by doing this, but... Yeah, it's pushing it right. Didn't want to go that far right. Oh, I'm long. Okay. Get in there. Oof. Grass is here maybe a little tall on the sides. It's, I mean, they're taller than the humans in the background, but... Um, hmm. a drivable floor. I didn't, didn't even realize that because it was playing me for the, the three wood for a sec. Um, Oh boy, I think I hit that a little too fast. Yeah, we're going to be wet, I think. Unless it gets a really good bounce. 
Uh, yeah, we're wet. Okay. <laughs> what a bounce. Where did this put us? On the other tee box? Yeah, we're uh, pitching from the other tee box. I love the drop zones in this game. They are fantastic. Uh, it needs to get down. That's long. Ooh, it spun back onto the green. Where's this going to end up? Keep coming. Eh, not bad. Let's save our car here, maybe. Nope. Saw that breaking back just a little bit to the right at the very end, but it didn't bring it back far enough. Mm. This looks a little wonky here. I mean, I doubt that's how this cart path is in real life, so this probably could have been smoothed out a little bit, but... Um, Can you, like, place drop zones in the game? Because I didn't think you could. Unless there's, he knows a way around it. Which I don't know if there is, but... If you say there is, then he must be able to. Um, I like the line. It's, eh, it's a little long. Not bad. Oh, 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 that's cruel. Oof, man. Oh, that's still a birdie. I didn't even realize, again, that it was a par 5. But that was a 4. Big uphill par 3 here. This is going to, I mean, oof. This green's brutal. I don't know how I'm going to keep it on the green here. Put a strip of a fairway around the water hazards. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. You can put them like off to the side or in front, and then that will default back because it's the nearest part of fairway, probably. Or nearest part of land, I guess, that you'd cross. But. Mm. Oh, this is going to be a very tricky little. Oh my god. I'm just going to try to hit a 7 here and put as much spin on this as possible and try to land it just past the red so it doesn't keep going. Right there, stop. I'll go in. That works too. <laughs> oh man. And when you get up to the green, I feel like the slopes aren't as brutal looking as they are when you're like um, uh, much further away. Uh, it looked like I had a lot more room there than I actually, or it didn't um, look like I had as much room there as I actually did initially, but there's a narrow landing spot, so I think I'm just gonna lay up. Take a full wedge in. like it a lot. There we go. Oh boy. Never mind. I don't like it. I hate it. <laughs> oh, I thought that was perfect. Probably should have zoomed on the green to see these slopes, but... Oh, gotta hit it. <sighs> Har. What is this? We got a big hill and then down the hill again? This is an interesting hole. Hmm. I mean, it's definitely drivable. Don't even want to take driver here, really, though. This is going to be a hard shot. 
Um, eh, I overcooked it a little bit, but it's in the light rough. We'll take it. Another narrow landing area. Hmm. Yeah, I probably should have taken driver there and into the wind, so. Downhill. This is an interesting green. Some of these slope, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and assume that these aren't how they look in real life, but some of these slopes just look really aggressive in the fairways, but and again, I'm not exactly sure how LiDAR data works, but how accurate it actually is, whether it's 100% or 90% or what, but Get in there. Oof. Is that off the green? Eh, very, eh, no, it's not. Okay. It's a good save. <laughs> this pin. Where do you even have four pins on the screen? I mean, you'll have one right here above the slope, one above the other, I'm assuming. Don't tell me you have one here. Where else do you have another pin? <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, boy. Um... Eh, no, I'm left, I think. Oh, oh, if I wouldn't have put spin on that, I think I would have maybe stayed. <sighs> Alright, no harm done. For as tough as these greens are, I figured... I'd be shooting a lot worse, but they're manageable, so. Bit of a blind tee shot here. Kind of get an idea of where you're going though with a little opening. Oh, I'm surprised that stayed. Look at where that ball's at. Wow. That's a good birdie. Another blind tee shot. Back down the hill. Interesting rock wall there. Is this drivable? Down 51 into a headwind, so I don't think we're going to reach it, but we're going to give it a shot. Yeah, not even close. Yeah, if it was, if it was more of a big downwind, maybe, but that's about perfect distance for flop range, I think. 
Uh, I hit it too fast. Yep. Damn. Settle. Settle. Oh my goodness. this green the beads are just going all over the place okay I mean we'll take the, the bogey there should have played that splash better yeah the flop whatever all right, closing hole. Just over 500 yards. Very reachable. Um, under 200 into the green. Very receptive green compared to most. this yeah like it a lot all right get in there there's a good way to close out the round an eagle 665 at low key valley by S Irish 19. Very a very good course. There were some areas here and there where I thought the the hills were maybe a little unrealistic, but again, I'm not gonna say one way or the other because I'm not sure how LiDAR works, but it was a very good job, man. It's a very fun play. 